you know, Detroit gets a bad rap, everyone knows it, and it, we have our fair share of problems in the city, but um, we love it here. We, we try and take advantage of everything the city has to offer. We're at Eastern Market all the time and checking out new restaurants, and um, you know, it's vibrant, there are things happening, and it is a really cool place. So when it came to, you know, planning our wedding, we very quickly decided that just no place else made, made sense, and we were definitely gonna get married in Detroit. You want to continue? We're ready. You're ready? He's going to continue. <laughs> There's no turning back. Just want to say a few words. You know, John and Maseem, a marriage is fantastic, especially when both people are on the same page. You know, it's a give and take. Basically, John, you give, and Maseem takes. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. That sounds okay. I'm just saying, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. She buys into that. There you go. What? what? A good marriage. <clears throat> what? Hey, settle down. A good marriage is a blend of the two a blend of affection and sacrifice of lifelong commitments and a willingness to see your partner's side of each disagreement. The years go quickly, and growing old together gives one a sense of pleasure and a feeling of satisfaction. I'm excited to be old with John and to be his best friend um, and, and see where we go. Not even bad. Not so. even bad. Swear to you. Deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. So first let's start with a, with a memory, the, the memory piece. It's, uh, uh, we were moving uh, my youngest daughter, Nicole, from the fifth time to the you know, to a, the new college and another college apartment, and we're moving furniture, heavy furniture, from fourth, fifth, from floor five, from to floor six. So I'm carrying the lower end of a heavy-duty couch, and John is carrying the upper side of the couch. So going up the stairs, we're sweating, and John says to me, uh, "So, is uh, matter of factly, so are you okay uh, to for me and Nassim to get married?" I said, Sh "Sure, sure." So with, so with. Flashing it with sweat and flashing images of me tumbling down five floors with a couch behind me. I said, I think that's a great idea, John. That's, uh, <laughs> so if, if this was, you know, a, a planned, uh, planned approach for John, it's a great strategy. It worked. <laughs> a risky one, though. So. <laughs> yeah, what do I do? Am I supposed to look? Yeah. Ah! I knew you would cry! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Are you red lip? Every, every New Year's Eve, for, for years and years, it was always a tradition that, that Johnny and I would get together at New Year's and whoever we were with, friends, family, we'd, we'd spend the time together and have a great time. And the first year that he was dating Seam, we were all in Dearborn at Chelly's, and Johnny and I had a tradition. You know, at the stroke of midnight, you remember this? <laughs> at the stroke of midnight, Johnny and I would always embrace and you know, give each other a little peck on the cheek. I mean, like, like Magic and Isaiah did in the 80s. I mean, a manly kiss. I, I saw you, Cobby. Don't laugh at me. And so the first year that he was dating Seam, you know, I remember that looking over at them and glancing at them, and it was beautiful because, you know, Johnny had finally found someone that was real, that he, I could tell he cared about, someone that cared about him. And at the stroke of midnight, Johnny looks at Seam, and I think he probably had, had crossed his two and a half beer limit at the point, so he maybe he wasn't of his right mind. But he looks at Seam, smiles, immediately turns to me and gives me a kiss. <laughs> to, to say Seam was not pleased is an understatement. Well, fortunately, the next year, everything worked out great on New Year's, and Seam looked at me and says, hey, guy, I'm first this time. <laughs> I said, that's fair. So the stroke of midnight, they shared a beautiful kiss, at which time Seam looked at both of us and said, okay, you two, now you can make out. But fortunately, like the rest of the Tafalskis, Seam, you're wonderful, you're warm, you're caring, and now you're part of the family. My 
um, gift to John is um, there are places where you can get like vintage subway signs, bus signs, and, and then I found someone who will do custom ones. So each street um, on this canvas is something personal to us. What's the first one? The first one is where we met. Holy sh she is good. Wow. The first one is where we met, and that's where she left to. This is where we got engaged. God, she's good, man. smarter than you also. So she had that made, and Denwood is where we met at Carly's graduation party. Connecticut is where she moved in D.C. Uh, Dearborn is where we got engaged in Chicago. Woodward is where we're getting married now. We're going to live on Oak Street. Team, I want to first start by telling you how beautiful you look today. I know you put in a lot of hard work to make this perfect, and it's been a very special day for me as well. Come on in! You're in. You're in. <laughs> oh my. Let's yeah. try Look at you! Even though we're six years apart in age, you've done your best to make that gap seem much smaller and have been a best friend to me. Some of the best memories I have are all the times that we bother our parents, well, I guess I normally just bother him and you laugh. But either way, seeing dad's reaction to the gifts he gets on Christmas, or watching mom take all those awkward photos of everyone when nobody's looking, are just a few memories that remind me of how much fun we have. I could not have asked for a better sister, and I want you to know that I've looked up to you ever since I was a little girl. Having you there to guide me through my ups and downs has been a blessing, and I'm so thankful for that. When I look at the bride and groom, I can't picture a more perfect couple. You two are both very funny and sarcastic and are always having a good time. My favorite part about you guys is how young you two act together. Seem always talks in her baby voice and attempts to fit the word Bodhi everywhere she can in a sentence. And regardless of the hour of the day, John is there laughing with her. Or I guess sometimes it could be at her, but either way, he has a look in his eyes that I can tell there's nowhere else in the world he'd rather be. It was just a few years ago, according to rumor, John met Nassim. He needed a date for a wedding. She was also desperate. <laughs> See, God, give us the point. <laughs> Not seeing anyone, and decided to take the chance on this loner from Dearborn. I remember when she showed up at the wedding. She was lovely and gorgeous, just as she is now. John liked her, and that was the spark that set this fire going and going. Yeah, I want to say basically three words, John, Nassim, have helped couples maintain the relationship, faith, hope, and love. Faith in each other to move forward in good times and bad. Hope during the difficult times you have hope in each other that you make the right choices and will be supported. And love, how can you live without it? Love is what makes the world go round. John, do you take Nassim to be your spouse for life? Do you promise to love and comfort her, to respect and support her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Good answer. Nassim, do you take John to be your spouse for life? Look, you can read. <laughs> do you promise to love and comfort him? to respect and support him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poor, for as long as you shall live. I do. Separately, you two are special, remarkable people, but together you are complete. The love you share is something I hope to find one day with my husband, and is again, why I look up to you. My wishes for Nassim and John are that they continue to make each other laugh and support each other through this roller coaster called life. 
I wish you the very best and my love to both of you. Inasmuch as you have committed, consented together in this ceremony to live as husband and wife and have stated your vows in our presence, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce that you are legally wed by the authority invested in me by the County of Wayne in the state of Michigan, I pronounce you husband and wife. John, you may kiss the bride.